Hey everyone, this is your boy DJ Cool Thing. It's time for another video. And this video is inspired by DJ Del Moose. And um, this video is about how I became a DJ and talk about the DJ gear that I have purchased over the last, let's see, since 2002 uh, when I became a family party DJ. Because that's what I started out doing. And it's supposed to be in family party, you know, family holiday parties, birthday parties, you name it. Um, I, that's what I started out with um, doing. Um, so when um, I became a DJ, I started out with my CD collection and a boombox, which I want you to put a picture of my first DJ gig um, right there. Um, that picture is going to be me at eight years old at my first DJ gig, at my first party DJing. Um, I had a CD collection and a Emerson CD Cruiser boot box, which had a cassette player, CD player, AMFM radio, the basics for 2002. Um, this was late 2001, early 2002, um, it was in April or May of 2002, and um, that's when I became a DJ. Um, so it just fell in my lap, because my mom was like, hey, why don't you DJ this birthday party? And it was my very own birthday party. So um, she wanted me to provide music for the party, so that's how I became a DJ. And uh, some years have progressed. Um, in 2009, I upgraded to the iPod Nano, which was an eight gigabyte, it was blue. Um, I will put a picture of the iPod right here. And it's just a great, it was a great iPod. That thing lasted till 2011. Um, it died on me, so I had to get an iPod Touch. So from 2011, 2012, 2013, up until 2014, I used an iPod. Uh, I used my local library. I used Pandora. I used the, the free version of Spotify. And yeah, that was about it. Because I was really early into the, um, into the music streaming game. I still had my local library. So I pretty much synced my music from the laptop to the iPod. Um, that's how I get my local library and I would use that for a lot of garage parties that me and my you know my yeah you know, me and my family would have we have a lot of garage parties we would have um, fourth of July parties Halloween Christmas and um, birthday parties and I started using my laptop mainly in 2013 at a um, graduation party, a college graduation party for my aunt. So that's how, I mean, I, I use Spotify on that. Um, it was a free version of Spotify. And I built a playlist and it was great. Um, so. And then some years have progressed. Um, I mostly did um, family parties using iPods and of course in the year 2014 I switched over to the iPhone 5C 16 gigabyte blue AT&T which I'll put a picture right there so with that um, I used that for two years and in 2016 I upgraded to the iPhone 6 and with the iPhone 5C I started using iTunes radio this was the early days of Apple getting into the streaming game. Um, with iTunes Radio, I can change Spotify, I can use Pandora, iHeartRadio, uh, and I continued my local library until 2015. At that time, I was using Apple Music. So I paid for Apple Music, and I continue to use it on my iPhone because uh, everything was in the cloud, so I used my iPhone 
and then I use my laptop. If I want to use my laptop, uh, I started using the laptop with Apple Music in 2018 when I became DJ Cool Thing. Um, that started my DJ Cool Thing career. It really kicked off my DJ gigs at DJ Cool Thing. So that um, was a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro mid 2012 13 inch, which was right there. I'll, send a, I'll put a picture of my MacBook Pro right there because that's when I started out with, with in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And 19, so I used it for about six or seven years up until I got this computer right here the MacBook Air 2018 model. And, and of course, um, in 2018, I got my first ever DJ controller, the Newmark Party Mix, which I'll put a picture right there at this marker right here. Um, that is the Newmark Party Mix which is a beginner's controller, because I was learning how to use a DJ controller, how to use the platters, the mixer, how to use DJ software. This was in 2018, the summer of 2018, and I didn't start using the um, party mix till Christmas 2018, because I didn't have any local files whatsoever. I got rid of them years ago when I upgraded to Apple Music, uh, the streaming service, Apple Music. And I guess because I was still searching for a DJ record pool, and I started out with Virtual DJ 2018, the LE, and I will put a, um, I'll put the logo right there of Virtual DJ, and maybe even a picture of, um, yeah, I'll put a picture of me even of me using Virtual DJ. And it was just a great piece of software, but I was like, um, this software is not really for me because the performance of it was not that great. So I upgraded to Serato DJ Lite in January, February, or maybe March of 2019. So it's been a year since I upgraded to Serato DJ Lite, which I'll put the, uh, logo right there of Serato DJ Lite. That was in early 2019. And then in June, July, yeah, in June of 2019, after so long of using Serato DJ Lite, I was like, why don't I upgrade to Serato DJ Pro? So I used the, the, the free trial, and before the trial was over, I got myself my brand new DJ controller, which I'll put right there. Um, it's called the, you know what it is, the Pioneer DDJ SR2. The SR2 is my current DJ controller. Uh, it got me into using Serato DJ Pro. It's got XLR outputs. It's a two-channel controller, so it's not that hard to use. And it's just been a great controller. And the speakers are the Ion Total P Max party speakers. Um, one I got for Christmas of 2018 and the other I got for summer, maybe even fall of 2019. Um, so they were both given to me as gifts. One was given to me by a friend of mine who I'm doing a wedding for and the other I got for Christmas of 2018. It was called the Ion Total P Max and those are really great speakers. And I have no intention to upgrade anytime soon. So, yeah, I have no intention to upgrade my speakers anytime soon because they still work. Um, they're still in great condition. They're less than 10 years old and they still sound amazing, especially for the size of venues that I need to, to DJ at. Uh, I DJ at small, medium-sized venues, and uh, um, the Ion Total P Max speakers are good to go for those size of venues. So I have no intention to upgrade anytime soon, and everything else is fine. Um, I started building the DJ. Um, yeah, I started building the. It was spring 
of 2019, I started to build the entire DJ booth. So I had the controller, I had the laptop, I had a laptop stand. I got the DJ stand in April of 2019. Uh, and let's see, um, I got the table sometime in June of 2019. Then I got a facade. Then came, then came a table cover, then came my lights, which are um, the American DJ LTS-6, which I'll put a picture of the entire DJ booth right there. Um, instead of posting individual pictures of everything I've purchased, just put the entire DJ booth right there. And in that picture, you see the Ion Topian Maxes, the American DJ LTS-6 light bar, with some Mad Owl all-in-one park hands that you can use a remote with, and it's so simple. It's so simple to use. So, it was just, it's just a great system for me. So, I can't wait to see what's next for my DJ career as upgrades are concerned, like speakers, table covers, accessories, just stuff to make it better over time. It will progress over time. This is just to get me started as a working DJ. Um, I've been a DJ for less than 10 years, so I don't really have that much experience. So, um, doing my first wedding. I got a Sweet 16 to do in October. I'm excited. So, I'm keeping the Ion Total Pain Maxes. I'm keeping everything that I have even I'm keeping the table cover, the black table cover I bought from Utopia Kitchen. I just need to fix it up a little bit, straighten it up because it's the same length as what I was gonna actually gonna upgrade to. So we'll have to straighten it up a little bit, clean it up. The next thing I need to do is tackle on the table, like put everything and consolidate everything on that small table using a fly case. So that's the next thing I'm gonna get is a flight case because I wanna keep my controller protected and preserve space, which I'm actually gonna post a picture of the Harmony uh, flight case right there with what I actually might get for my birthday so I can consolidate everything and put my wireless microphones and my Bluetooth transmitter on the actual table and just put my laptop and the controller with its cables inside of the flight case to preserve space um so it's gonna look amazing i can't wait to see how everything looks so it's just amazing so yeah this video was actually inspired by dj damus uh so shout out to my my good boy dj damus so he inspired me to do this video and talk about the history of my teaching career and so yeah i will put my entire dj booth right there again so you can see it, it it's a nice setup um a lot of you give me crap um for speakers the table cover and well it's just something you guys have to accept that I'm not a rich DJ, and I could use whatever I can use. The Ion Total P Max I didn't choose to buy. I didn't buy it myself. I got one as a Christmas gift, and the other as a surprise gift for help me out for helping plan the wedding and help DJ at the wedding. So the Ion Total P Maxes are good to go for right now. So. Yeah, I'm keeping the Ion Total P Maxes. I'm keeping the table cover that I got from Utopia Kitchen, but just fix it up a little bit, straighten it up, and everything is good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified, so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Till next time, DJ Cool Thing out. Peace.